What's up guys? Uh, so today is gonna be a lot different of a video than I've ever filmed before. As you guys may be aware of, or you may not be aware of, over the last eight months of my life, I have been fighting and dealing with these damaging false rumors and narratives spread about me. For so long, everyone's been asking me uh, why I haven't spoke up, am I gonna speak up, and maybe I should have, but no one will ever understand to the extent of where my mental stage was during all of this, how much pressure was on me with speaking up and how scared I was because the whole world was against me and still is frankly because I've been hushed for so long. I've been, I've been forced to stay quiet for so long. I've been told, Taylor, just be quiet, it'll go away. Um, just don't show any attention to it. And here we are eight months later and I'm still fucking dealing with it every day of my life. So here I am today facing something that's not quite the easiest thing in the world for me. Um, but I'm here to talk and give some people some perspective and some truth behind this matter as a lot of people just decide to hear bullshit and run with it because we live in a fucked up world where just people can say whatever the hell they want and people just believe it with no proof. From internally whispering and gossiping about me, it's been to these groups of people holding meetings and little intermissions to talk about me to try to come up with some massive fucking plan to ruin my life. It's been rumors, it's been lies, it's been all this bullshit. And it's always, oh, I heard this, or this is what so-and-so told me. Since I still don't know about any specific allegations as no one has came forward to either me or law enforcement, let me be as clear as possible as I can be with this. I have never sexually assaulted anybody. I have never raped anybody. I have never had sex or been with an underage girl. And I have never had a non-consensual sexual relationship with anybody. And it's hard to fight this because I'm one man, but any other stories that you guys have heard or claim to hear is just straight up lies and there's no other way to put it. There's a difference between facts and rumors. Not one single person has ever came forward to talk to me about this. Not one single person has came forward with any type of proof or anything like that to even the individuals that have been hearing these rumors internally in this industry that we talked to. At the beginning of February, Keemstar reported that a trusted source had told him that I would be facing several allegations by multiple victims. And here we are, eight months later, still nothing. There is not one single allegation. There is no victims. There is nothing. There is no one that has came forward with a date and a time that this has happened to them. I'm stuck fighting these so-called ghosts. I'm fighting smoke. I'm fighting something that I have absolutely no idea what is going on. And as there's been so many comments about none of these people can speak up because I sent cease and desist, nobody can come forward and say anything because they received a letter, all of this stuff. Let me just educate you real quick. That's not how a cease and desist works. In fact, a cease and desist is saying you guys are spreading internally and publicly a false narrative about me. So stop spreading false rumors and accusations and all of these things save all of your evidence and get ready to go legal with this matter as it's not something to play with. Then after I said that, everyone shut up because they know what they have done. They know I haven't, to this day, I haven't paid anyone to shut up. I haven't paid anyone to not say anything. I haven't paid anyone nothing. In fact, it's been the complete opposite. There has been multiple people that have came to me and showed me and told me about how numerous of these individuals have tried to pay other individuals to come forward and back them in this just to ruin my life. Once again, a cease and desist, that's not how it works. It's me saying stop publicly bashing my name or let's go legal with it. Let's let the real truth come out. And none of them want that to come out. I can promise you that. I'm not sure why it abides by everybody else except for me in this situation. Um, but I don't know whatever happened to you're presumed innocent until proven guilty. How can all of these individuals, fans, watchers, public, influencers, everything, believe all of these sources, believe all of these rumors when there has absolutely been zero evidence about any of this. You wanna know why? Because there is none. The only evidence that anyone has is me of the messages, the nudes, the explicit videos and photos and messages that these individuals have sent me directly myself and that's why no one has came forward and said anything because they know I have that, they know what they've done. At one point, all this bullshit got so deep that Josh Richards on his podcast put out that I had been arrested without going and doing his own research about it. Josh has decided to run with it anyways. Not only have I never been arrested, I have never been contacted or confronted by any law enforcement about these rumors. And you wanna know why? Because they're rumors. They're not facts, they're not truths, they are rumors. They are lies. 
When all of this craziness started, I tried to handle it the mature way. I tried to handle it offline. I reached out to all of these individuals claiming that they had information. I have been begging for months and months for these individuals claiming these things to show their proof, but still have received nothing. I know the truth, my family knows the truth, and all of my real friends know the truth as well as these so-called victims know the truth, as there has not been one single charge, not one complaint from any of them filed against me. Which brings me to Mads Lewis, who claims to know all of the information. False, you know what you've been told. There's a difference in information and facts. So know the truth, she is not a victim. In fact, Mads even stated that I did not send her a cease and assist. She made a comment that you cannot send a victim a cease and desist, which led a lot of people to believe that that meant that she was talking about she was a victim. Well, here's proof that she was also lying about that. Because as you see here, on January 31st of 2022, Mads Lewis was issued a cease and desist because she is not a victim. I hope everyone that has spoke publicly about this involved themselves in this. I hope you guys are proud of yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed your 15 minutes of fame. I hope you enjoy the views that my name has brought you over the last couple months. And I hope you guys are happy with ruining my entire life. Because in fact, for the last eight months, that's what you guys have done. So if that was your goal, congratulations, you did it. All of this is bigger than me. Sexual assault is a frightening reality for so many real victims going through this out there and people like you guys. And every time that someone lies about sexual assault, it makes it that much harder to investigate and prosecute real offenders and keep them away from harming anybody else. All of this bullshit needs to stop. No more ambiguous posts, no more false claims, no more lies. If something of this matter actually happened to an individual or someone's kids, you would go to the police and file a police report, a lawsuit, anything. You would take legal matter on this as no one has. And I'm not sure how you guys can continue to believe these false narratives seeing zero proof. As in, let me remind you, there is none. And as I wrap up this video, I wanna say thank you to the individuals that you know who you are, the individuals, my family, my friends that have stood by me through all of this, that have not listened to all these outrageously false rumors about me. And for all the other individuals out there that have commented, for all the other individuals that have left me, uh, walked out on me because of something you were told, please never do that to anybody else. Coming from someone that personally experienced it themselves, no one will ever understand the extent of where I was with my mental health. No one will ever understand what this has done to my life. Uh, for honestly the rest of my life and has affected me in so many traumatic ways that you guys will never even understand I can't stress it enough to all of you out there watching Please make sure you do your own full investigation Make sure you go and find real proof real validation that this stuff is happening to these individuals because it's not fair The people like me and other people that are being falsely accused of stuff to this matter Thank you again to everybody that watched this video I know there's going to be people out there that still, no matter what I say, they're not going to believe me. We live in a fucked up world where anyone can say whatever the hell they want and people just run with it. But at some point, you have to take a step back and look at the facts that I've pointed out in this video. You have to look at it, how long this is going on with no proof, with no nothing. People can come forward and say whatever the fuck they want. But until they actually approach me or my attorney or my legal team with any law enforcement, police report, legal matter, please remember that this is all bullshit. And for whatever it's worth, not that I owe an explanation to any of these motherfuckers, but all of you that walked away, if you wanna know in the slightest bit of what actually happened, you have my number. I have all of the proof to prove that I am completely fucking innocent. Reach out to me. Come sit down and talk to me. Have a mature conversation with me. Stop doing this petty shit on the internet for your little fucking views. Have a nice fucking day.